Now let's see if we can subtract large numbers using mental methods, so without using column subtraction. For this first question, we can see that we're subtracting seven ten thousands, but as we only start with two ten thousands, we know that our hundred thousands digit is going to change as well, because we'll need to regroup or exchange. And we're also subtracting six units, but because we start with zero units, our tens digit will change as well. So our answer is 54,264, because we subtracted 7 from 12 to get 5, and we subtracted 6 from 70 to get 64. So now pause the video and see if you can use the same method to answer this question here. We're subtracting 5,000s, but we can see that our 10,000s digit will need to change as well. And we're subtracting 9 10s, but we can't subtract 9 from 2, so our 100s digit will also change. So our answer is 4,408,332, because we subtracted 5 from 13 to make 8, and we need to write 0, 8 so that our place values stay the same. And we subtracted 9 from 42 to make 33. Now here, we're subtracting 3,000s, but our 10,000s will also need to change. And then we're subtracting our 300s. So what is our answer? We have 779,029, because we subtracted 3 from 82 to get 79, then subtracted our three hundreds, so we have 0 in the hundreds. Now for this last question, we can get the answer by subtracting 19 from 104 and then leaving our thousands, hundreds, tens, and units digits the same. How could you subtract 19 from 104 using mental methods? Well, you could either use adjusting, so subtract 20 to get 84, and then add 1 to get 85, or you could subtract 4 to get 100, then subtract another 15, to get 85. So our answer is 856,259. So now we don't have a millions digit, and we have 8 in the hundred thousands and 5 in the ten thousands.